Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Welcome back. Welcome. You're here. You're right on time. Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another Magic Review. Get ready to start your magical week. That's right. Your magical week is straight ahead of you, and we're going to keep going all the way through that week, <laughs> right? Seven days. Seven days a week doing Magic Reviews, deck reviews, contests, commentary, answering questions. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else on the YouTube is doing as many magic reviews as this guy. And we got another one from Louis Laval. What? I feel like we just did one for Louis Laval last week. Didn't we just do one for Louis Laval last week? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And doing another one. Now he's got OTT. OTT. You down with OTT? There was only one correct response to that. I hope you said it. I hope you said it out loud. What is OTT? OTT means over the top over the top, not, not an arm wrestling movie. Not, uh, not that. Man, I'm old. Have I told you that I'm a 55 year old grumpy man? Uh, I, I hope I've, I hope I've mentioned that in my videos. No, over the top is a billet switch. It is a billet switch, but if you read the ad copy, it's a little bit more revealing because it's actually not a billet switch. What do you mean it's not a billet switch? It's not a billet switch. It looks like a billet switch, but it's not. It's a false way for you to keep, for you to retain that billet in your hand. So the spectator thinks that you're swapping it out with a billet that's on the table, but in reality, you're doing nothing and you're retaining the one that's in your hand. It's very deceptive. It looks exactly like what it should look like. And Lewis shows you why you would want to learn this move. OTT, $24, the 1914.com. What are you going to get? Uh, it's all downloads, right? It's all downloads. You're going to get uh, 16 video files, 16 video files. It's one hour and 20 minutes long. Is it what I thought? Yes, it's what I thought because they tell you that it's not a billet switch, <laughs> right? Now, does that mean I understood the move or understood the the, the, you know, the slight behind it. No, of course not, because this is Lewis's own unique handling. All right. This is his own unique handling. Um, this is, this is where you're going to learn it. And he even says that this is something that he, uh, created to fix a problem. Right. And he created it a while back and it wasn't until he showed it to a group of magicians that he realized just how strong and how powerful it was. So he wanted to release it to you. Now, granted something like this could be learned in like, a 20 minute video. He could have sold this as a 20 minute download for $19.99, right? And y'all would have been happy. But this is another example of how the 1914 goes over the top in that <laughs> you're getting an hour and 20 minutes of video, an hour and 20 minutes for just $24. So Man, this is what downloads normally cost, but it's so much more than a download. This is like, you know, the old school DVDs you used to get where there was an intro and a about and some crediting and some like inspiration. And then he shows you the move and then he gives you working effects that'll make this effect work. No, make this make. He's going to give you tricks. Ha <laughs> ha. He's going to give you tricks that utilize this slight. What's the overall quality and production value? Uh, Lewis is talking to a stationary camera. He's back in that 1914, nice looking uh, dressed living room setting. It's got all nice warm colors. Uh, as far as what's taught, you get an intro. He shows you the move at speed, and then he slows the move down and teaches it to you. Uh, and that's the original move. And it's another one of those things you, you really need to practice. Uh, it, I, I, you know, you say like, oh, how long would this take me to learn? You know, it's one of those, like when you shuffle, like when you practice shuffling and you're watching TV or when you're sitting there at the table and you're, you're dribbling poker chips. It's one of those things that you could literally set up two billets and just practice over and over again mindlessly as you watch television. Uh, he's going to give you seven more files after that. So the first trick is called collateral. And it's a typical one behind effect where you're using two billets to get a reading on a spectator. He does the explanation with a peak, and then he gives you another explanation using the Orphic wallet. 
and then he gives you another file of seven minutes of bonus ideas. The next file after that is a, simply a slides file, just in case you don't know the pinky break, the double undercut, and the classic pass. He'll teach all those to you. Next, you got one called Intuition versus Guessing. This is a 10 minute file, similar to Collateral, but with different pattern. And then the next file is called Hit Like a Psychic. It's 10 minutes and he does a simple reading. Shows you how to hit 100% on details using the OTT uh, as an opener for readings. The next file is called the OTT Peak. It's five minutes long. And he talks to you about how you can use this as a billet peak. And then he's gonna teach you the gaffless clear forcing bag. It's seven minutes long and it's exactly like it sounds. No gaff, transparent forcing bag. A spectator selects any billet from the bag and you will know which one it is. And then the last, there's two person telepathy. It's a seven minute file. Uh, you're having two spectators. One is the reader and one is the receiver. They uh, think of an object and they're able to tell you what it is. Next, he has a file called the Oracle at Delphi, which is Lewis's take on a Q&A routine. And then the last file is some final thoughts. Of course, pocket space, this is something that just goes with you wherever your billets go, right? So if you carry billets, carry a pen, you do mentalism, obviously, right? This is, this is who this is for. Um, it's, it's, it's an everyday carry because it's only just, it's only just knowledge. Right? You're not, there's nothing extra. You're not building anything. This is simply just something that you can do alongside billets. Angles wise, at speed, it's virtually undetectable, really. I mean, at speed, it looks exactly like what you'd think it should. And Lewis even talks to you about how to perform this at speed. So he warns you against doing this too quickly so that you draw attention to the fact that now I'm doing something shady, right? So pay attention to that part. But inspectability, of course, by the end of the routine, you're gonna have two billets. They'll both have the same fold lines. They'll both have two different uh, pieces of writing or you know, drawing duplication or whatever. There's nothing, nothing, nothing for the spectator to catch you out on at the end of this. Uh, slice and difficulty level, it's not hard. It really isn't. I think in the ad copy, they say like 10 minutes of practice. I'd probably say 10 minutes of practice and you'll understand the move, <laughs> but I would definitely practice this uh, a lot longer than that, especially uh, to make it look fluid and to make it look like nothing. Nothing. It's supposed to look like nothing's happening, right? So to make something look like nothing takes, takes some practice. But positives, man, it's universal. So universal to anyone who does billet work. And if you do billet work, chances are you are doing some sort of one behind routine, right? And there's always that cleanup aspect. So this is definitely a solution to the, to the cleanup. Um, powerful, right? It is a very powerful move because it can be applied to so many different types of routines. I mean, even after I watched the video, the first thing I thought of was, could I fold a playing card into quarters and do it with playing cards and do some sort of mystery card routine where, you know, I get the card wrong, fold it up and then go, wait, what about this card that's been sitting on the table the entire time, swap it out and do it that way. I don't know, I don't know. I think it's possible. Uh, negatives, let's talk about negatives. Um, maybe I wish the ad copy in the trailer had told you more about what it actually is, right? Because I think I kind of went into this a little blind. I understood that it was not a switch, but I didn't really understand how not a switch works. I understand that if they showed you, you know, footage, then it, it would be too revealing, right? So I, I get that, but I don't know. The ad copy was super duper, super vague. Is it worth your money? I already covered that, right? I already covered that, my goodness. 16 files, an hour of, and 20 minutes of instruction for only $24, and it's 1914, and it's Lewis the Fall, and your buddy D. Christopher comes out during the videos and he helps Lewis with ideas and he acts as the spectator a lot of times, so my goodness. Uh, power, powerhouse, uh, powerhouse stuff. Who would like this? Obviously medalists, right? Medalists who do billet work, okay? So that, that's who should be thinking about this. Now granted, if you have the Orphic wallet, uh, there's a great companion piece to the Orphic wallet in this. And now I can't even imagine the two not going together. I can't, I can't imagine the Orphic wallet being used without using the OTT move. I mean, it just seems so, 
it, it blends together so naturally to me, to me. So that's everything I can say about the OTT uh, move from Louis Laval, the 1914. I hope I've introduced you to a brand new effect or maybe answered some questions that you already had. And if that's the case, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe and follow. Mash all those buttons. Thanks so much for being a part of my channel. And big, huge thanks to Louis Laval and the 1914 for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. And if you want to buy it for yourself, that's where you need to go. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, did you know there are over 300 videos and reviews that you've never even seen here at Magic Orthodoxy? It's true. And if you join the membership section today, you'll get unlimited access to that exclusive content. What are those videos? These would be the magic tricks that I buy with my own money. These are the tricks that I want, the tricks I am the most excited about. All you have to do is click the join button on your screen. And there are two exciting ways to join. For $2, you'll get access to eight extra videos a month, eight brand new videos a month. And for $5 a month, you'll get access to 12 new videos a month. Not to mention, you'll also be part of an exclusive community of almost 500 other magicians. And if you can't find the join button, I will put a link in the description of today's video. Thanks guys, bye.